this. The purpose is not to go into the background too much of Ubuntu and what the philosophy is because you can read that in Michael's book. Uh, you can get it from the ubuntu.org.za website. It's all over the place. So let's start to, to tackle these issues one by one and, and hit this right where it's supposed to be. And I want to I wanna start with the um, the banking side because that's something that's that's topical at the moment. The TV commercials talk about the People's Bank. Uh, they talk about this ability to be able to fix a broken money system. Michael, just take us through this very quickly. How do you propose to do this? I mean, what is wrong with our banking system, first of all, and how are you going to propose to to sort this problem out? Thanks, Scotty. Um, you know, before I launch into that, I just want to pick up on one little thing, just to um, uh, to maybe take this conversation into a slightly more uh, a broader base um, kind of area because you started this whole introduction by saying um, using the word utopian and and I you know I'm finding it quite interesting because uh, a few people have called us you know utopian ideas and so forth and I and I, I get a smile on my face every time I hear that it's as if as if th thinking about a utopian society is a bad thing. And it's just amazing how poisoned we have become, how poisoned our minds and our systems and our brains and the, and the way we think about life has become. We seem to have been conditioned into believing and, and thinking that we have to suffer, we have to struggle. There is no prosperity for humanity. We have to have hard lives and live in misery and somehow just survive from month to month. And utopian ideas are something so far-fetched that we'll never attain it. Well... I believe the opposite. I believe, and this is really fundamentally what everyone that is in the Ubuntu movement globally in more than 198 countries now and, uh, and now in the Ubuntu party in South, South Africa, I do believe that all of us firmly believe in, in the fact that people and living, breathing human beings should live utopian lives of abundance and not scrounge around and live in misery from month to month and week to week, just somehow surviving. So yeah, let's get, no, absolutely. Let's get, okay, so, so I see, you, I see where you, I see where you're going with this. You want to, you want to sort of take on the whole sort of over, overarching ideology. You know, a lot of people will say, well, this just is not practical. And I think that's really the purpose of this interview today. And I'm looking forward to hearing everybody, you know, all four of you's input in this, because ultimately your average person is going to look at this and go and say, well, it's just not practical to feed the majority of people in this country. It's just not practical to yeah. be able to give everybody cheap energy. And it's just not practical to have an alternative money system because if all the banks are too big to, to fail. So I hear exactly what you're saying and, and, and it, it is possible. And that's what I want to talk about today, Michael. I want to know why it's possible. I want people to be able to listen to this and go, these Ubuntu people are not crazy nutcases, but they've actually got a well thought out structure. Yeah. And, and so just to, just to uh, add to what you said there, all of the above is possible. It is possible to feed everybody with very little money and resources because the money and the resources that, that uh, should be available for this kind of activity is there. And uh, it is practical and is possible to provide f alternative and virtually free and eventually free electricity and energy. It is practical to, to provide uh, ho housing and security for all the people and food and, and health care. Health care that is actually um, far more than just um, treating the symptoms, but actually goes much deeper into understanding what what um, healing is all about, and all these things. You know w w what you said right up front. We are f there are four individuals, and we're just the four people that put our names up as candidates for the Ubuntu Party. We are all in our individual ways well researched. Um, we are all scientists. You can say in our own respective fields, because scientists being just somebody that's very knowledgeable. Uh, someone with knowledge, and and we bring this collective um, knowledge and research to the table and to this political platform, uh, which I still loathe to say, but but uh, we bring this philosophy of Ubuntu and contributionism into this political arena so we can share it with the people, so that we can bring the good news, be the bearer of good news, and tell everyone that it not only is it possible for us to live in a utopian society, but we have worked out steps and and feasible and practical uh, ways of actually achieving it. So and that's, and get, that is, that's where we want to go with this. To get back to your question about the banking, um, very, I guess one sentence <coughs> answer for, for that is that the entire global banking industry is a fraudulent, 
structure that was created as pretty much a tool of enslavement over the human race, over every country, the people of every country, the entire global banking structure with its supply of money, the way it works, is controlled by a small number of people that run pretty much uh, all of this activity from Switzerland, from Basel, Switzerland, and Stephen Goodson will have a lot more to say about that. And to overcome the, the problems and the misery that the people find themselves in on a daily basis, we have to go to the root of the problem. And the root of the problem sits with the supply and the creation of money that is supplied by private companies, a private company pretty much so, um, uh, called the the, the Bank of, for International Settlements in Basel, Switzerland, and, and the control of the entire global financial systems. Now, how that is going to impact <clears throat> on um, providing, uh, changing it, is, is virtually we can change and alleviate this, this uh, control overnight by stopping this exclusive right of these banking families and, and the South African Reserve Bank that is controlled by the BIS in Switzerland, um, by stopping that and and allowing or creating an alternative, which we call the People's Bank, which is owned by the people and the government of the people and provides money for the people by the people. And Stephen Goodson has a lot more detail uh, on that. And um, this, this will provide virtually 100% employment. It'll stimulate every possible Im imaginable sector of our lives and our society. Uh, providing abundance that we cannot imagine right now.